você vive entre Lagos e a região ali de Maryland, nos Estados Unidos. São duas realidades muito diferentes em relação à pandemia. Os Estados Unidos hoje estão prestes a vacinar plenamente a sua população, enquanto a África e a América Latina ainda estão muito atrasados. Portanto, a vacinação expõe a desigualdade e como ela foi acentuada né, ao longo da pandemia. Como você acha que os Estados Unidos deveriam agir para prover vacinas para o um mundo em desenvolvimento neste momento? E você acha que eles estão sendo é, devidamente justos nessa repartição aí das vacinas? Um, well, I think that you know the, the problem is we, we we live in nation states and nation states protect themselves. Right? Each each country protects its own. The reason that this doesn't make sense in this pandemic is that the coronavirus does not respect boundaries. It does not respect borders. And so I was reading recently that the U.S. is hoarding a large number of vaccines instead of, you know, sending them to countries where people don't have access to them. It doesn't make sense because you could, va you could vaccinate everybody living in the U.S., but as long as the borders are open and people are traveling, you you know you you don't have any um, you don't have any insurance that that the coronavirus will not come into your country. So it makes sense for the countries that are wealthy and have access to to vaccines. It makes a lot of sense for those countries to think about not just their citizens, but to think globally. We have to think globally because this pandemic shut down the world, and the world is so interconnected now. I mean, you know, I remember that Walmart in the U.S., um, the shops, the shelves were empty for a while because they couldn't bring their goods from China because of the lockdown. Um, the, the, well, our world is so interconnected, and so it makes no sense for countries like America to hoard vaccines when there are other countries that have just almost nothing. In Nigeria, there's a bit, you know, people, people, most people, a lot of people have had the first um, dose of, of, of the AstraZeneca, And there's now a lot of talk about people saying they're not sure they can get the second dose. I really do think that the U.S., and not just the U.S., actually the European Union is doing a bit more than America is doing. Um, but really, I think that the countries that can afford it should, not just as a moral action, but also as a practical action, they should make sure that the countries that cannot afford it get the vaccines.